Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We're on top of Stanford Stadium. It's really sunny, as you could tell. It's a beautiful day for the California Classico. I think we've heard it's the fourth annual a showdown between the San Jose Earthquakes and their downstate rivals, the uh, LA Galaxy. I've got with me here Chris McDougall, the creative services producer. We pulled him out of the, uh, the, the booth full of equipment, all kinds of gear. So first off, Chris, thanks for coming out and uh, spending a few minutes with theCUBE. No problem. So talk a little bit about the role of technology. But we were talking while the guys were setting up about you know how many tools you have at your disposal. Stanford Stadium recently upgraded the video boards, the ribbon boards. I'm sure a whole bunch of software and, and equipment behind those boards. Talk about you know both the challenges and the opportunities when you have all these kind of tools at your disposal. There are certainly a lot of challenges, but it really provides us the opportunity to connect with the fans, you know, show them what we're trying to push out from the marketing, ticket sales side, as well as getting our sponsors in, in the people's eyesight. Um, you know, really push our messaging out to the fans, which is an opportunity that we don't generally have at, at our current stadium at Buckshaw. Um, so really to take advantage of it here, playing at Stanford is, is a good opportunity for us. So, so when you're strategizing about getting those messages out, right, it's obviously concurrent with a bunch of other stuff you guys are doing as part of a, a marketing plan, but here it's a different venue. It's a different kind of look and feel. It's a different connection. So when you're planning, how does that compare to some of the other things that you do, and how do you guys plan for that and come up with some unique things to take advantage of that opportunity? Well, the most important thing is preparing for 50,000 people. It's a crowd that we don't get anywhere near at our current stadium. So, you know, having that many sets of eyes on our scoreboard, on the LED ribbon, you know, it, it really makes it important to us to have it all lined up and make sure that, that we're getting the proper marketing initiatives out there and that our sponsors are getting the proper allotment of time because um, you know at our current stadium we can't even show a sponsor image during the match but here we can put it on the LEDs pretty much the entire game you'll see either a ticket sales advertisement or a sponsorship you know 7up uh, a and w something like that or you know um, our Gordon Beer viewing party you know it's it's all going to be in their eyes for the entire match and how long have you been working on the uh, the script for this thing <laughs> uh, I started working on this script probably two months ago um, and a lot of that work was done in years past like you said this is our fourth year at Stanford so <laughs> yeah it's been a long time and how tight and how tight is it in terms of you know the level of detail that once the uh, once the show starts you guys are you know are you right on the clock do you have some flexibility are there kind of key indicators that you reference off of uh, we're definitely on the clock um, depending on how well our, our PA announcer gets through his script and how sharp our director's cuts are you know we might build in a little time for ourselves but yeah, at halftime especially, right before kickoff, we're really hitting the minute, minute and a half marks. We, we can't miss those, so. And then talk, you said you've been with the Quakes for five years, not always in this job, but you've been here for a while. Talk a little bit about how technology has changed in those five years, um, in terms of what you have at your disposal, how you use it, and really how, that, how you get the feedback that it really relates to the fan experience. I mean, I've been here since 2010, and I can't even use some of the footage that we collected in those early years. It's, it's just so small and grainy compared to the HD stuff they're pushing out today. And that's been one of the major challenges, is, is working with this really high quality footage and then using you know we've been playing since 1974 trying to put a shot of that on really grainy pixelated film and then cutting to something from today which is just clear crisp HD it, it can't be a challenge at times but you know, hopefully our fans understand that, that that's what we're working with and and they appreciate it. And then how about the guys, that, you know, the, the proverbial guys in the truck, right? Are you guys the, guy, the guys that are cutting the film, that are coming back with the replays, which yeah. as we've all been watching World Cup for the last few weeks is a little unique because they don't go to commercial, there's no break in the action. You have to, you have to squeeze the replay back in. How tightly do, do you work with those guys? Is that part of your program within, within the marketing campaign? Um, we, we have a general oversight of that department, but really the people at Comcast handle that. Um, those guys are professional sports 
directors, technical directors, producers, they know how to cut in the highlights the best. Uh, but soccer does provide a challenge for them because you know it's not like baseball, it's not like football. There are no stoppages during the game. When the ball goes out of bounds for five seconds, you got to squeeze in a highlight when you can and and hope you finish it before the you know something exciting is going on down the pitch. All right, so we're going to give you the opportunity to break some news. Right, you guys are going to open up Levi Stadium. We've we've been down there. We do a lot of shows at the San Jose Convention Center, really under the shadow, or excuse me, Santa Clara Convention Center, under the shadow of Levi Stadium. We know. All all about it it's going to be you know the most cutting edge fan experience have you got any inside scoop as you start to plan for your game because the earthquakes are opening levi stadium what's going on down there what uh, what do you got there that you don't have here new toys to be honest the only time i've been to levi's i was in a helicopter flying over it so i haven't been on the ground i haven't seen any of their control room but i'm really looking forward to starting to play with their toys yeah they got their toys and then your toys are going to open up we heard in march so mm -hmm. can you share with us some of the unique things you're looking forward to uh there finally when you guys are no longer than nomads and you uh, you end up in your own facility yeah the thing I'm looking forward to is the scoreboard it's gonna be one of the biggest scoreboards in the Bay Area if not the biggest rivaling the Giants uh, and then we'll have a full ribbon of LED boards which is something that very few MLS teams have so all those different elements are gonna be a lot of fun to play with plus I have to mention our scoreboard is gonna be double-sided so if you're driving down Coleman Avenue you'll be able to see our game on one side of the scoreboard and if you're in the venue you'll be able to see the same thing from your seats Forget Coleman Avenue. What about all the planes going in and out of San Jose <laughs> International? <laughs> Hopefully we'll catch a few new fans. Oh, absolutely. And and I'm sure you got something planned. I'm still waiting. I keep asking. No one's a, uh, answered the question. What happens when a plane takes off? It's got to tie back to some uh, some fun, loud event in, inside the stadium. Yeah, I don't know. We have, I don't think we have anything planned for we that yet. Tested that one out. All right. Well, Chris is really busy. we got to let him get back down to the board. Those guys are getting keyed up. It's uh, How long till we have kickoff here? Oh, geez. We're about an hour out. When does, when does things start getting squirrely? Uh, around 7 o'clock. Around 7 o'clock. All right, we'll let Chris get back to it. So, Chris, thanks for coming on theCUBE. We're at the on the rooftop of Stanford Stadium. I can't hardly see in the bright sunlight. It's the California Classico, fourth edition, the Galaxy, the Quakes. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be here all night. We're going to be getting capturing uh, film from the field, from the fans, and we've seen from a lot of the folks here making it happen behind the scenes with earthquakes. I'm Jeff Frick. You're with theCUBE. We'll be right back.